Christmas is right around the corner and that can only mean one thing. The last Planet Zoo pack of this year is on its way. So today I would like to dive into the world of Planet Zoo speculation again and talk about what kind of pack we might see next. Hey everyone, my name is The Lady Designer and welcome to another Planet Zoo speculation video. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy these type of videos and if you are excited for a new Planet Zoo pack and let me know your thoughts about the next Planet Zoo pack in the comments comments down below. So without further talking, let's dive right into it. So for this speculation video, we will be using the Essential Habitat Animals meta wishlist from the Planet Zoo forums to see what kind of possibilities could still be out there. But as always, you guys know by now that if you would ask me what I want the most, we would obviously be looking at a full aquatic animals pack, an aquarium pack, or an aviary pack with real flying animals. But as we already spoke about these type of packs a lot in previous videos, we will not be talking about that in this video. But if you do want to hear my opinion on these type of packs and how likely they are, I highly recommend you to watch those videos as well. So now let's dive into some speculation here. Now I am not super good at making up these special name packs, so the themes will be more generic with an idea of what kind of animals may potentially be in it. So for the first pack idea, we might be looking at some kind of Arctic pack 2.0 or at least something referring to a colder climate pack, as it's actually been quite some time now since we did see these type of animals being added, so it wouldn't surprise me if this will be a good time, also it being winter, to add some more of these type of animals to the game. Now at first glance, this may sound a little bit boring for some, but I'm looking at animals such as the highly requested wolverine, or one of my highest requested animals, the walrus, which I would absolutely love to see in the game so badly, but also I will be so super excited if they would add like a sea otter in the game or maybe even a southern elephant seal that will be so amazing but also a musk ox could fit super nicely in a pack like this as well so i think this could be a great animal roster for a pack like this with some highly requested animals by the community but the question is would you be excited for a pack with these type of animals do let me know in the comments down below now we could also be looking at some kind of coastal pack where many of the earlier mentioned animals could fit in super nicely as well, but we could also be looking at other animals such as the Kokorel Zafaka, who can be found in coastal forests, or how about the southern rockhopper penguin, which I think will be such a fantastic addition to the game, or what about the west indian manatee. As this will be a full aquatic animal, the chances are unfortunately a lot less likely that we see a manatee being added in a game like this, however it is a very highly requested animal by many people of the community, so I'm really keeping my hopes up for this one for sure. Now clearly, we already have tons of African animals in the game, so one could think that the African animal roster is pretty much done by now, but the African continent includes so many great animals that there are still a lot of African animals being requested by the community, so maybe this time we could be looking at some kind of savanna themed pack for example. Think of the highly requested secretary bird, which would be such an amazing addition to the African animal roster. Or how about the beautiful serval or the adorable honey badger or another zebra species like the gravy zebra or what about the greater kudu or another one high on my wishing list the shoebill although the shoebill could also fit in well in a more African wetlands or maybe African tropicals theme pack but definitely also a very nice animal roster when looking at African animals that could still be added into the game. What do you guys think. Or how about some kind of rainforest pack? There is a variety of highly requested animals that could also fit in a pack like this. Think of the Goodfellows tree kangaroo, of which I know many people were very disappointed they were not part of the Oceania pack. Or how about the beautiful golden lion tamarind? I would really love to build a beautiful tropical habitat for these guys. But we could also think of the, the ocelot, which would, together with the golden lion tamarind both, be a super nice addition to the South and Central American animal roster of the game, but we could also think of animals like the mantled gorilla or the eye eye that would fit very nicely in some kind of rainforest pack as well. What do you guys think? Any other animals that would fit well in a rainforest animal roster? Let me know your thoughts and ideas in the comments down below. So let's find some higher ground, shall we? Like what about some kind of mountain pack? This could include a nice variety of animals such as the golden snub-nosed monkey found in the mountain ranges of South. Western West 
in China, or the spectacled bear that can be found mostly entirely in the Andes Mountains in South America, or what about the Himalayan ta that can be found in the Himalayas around southern Tibet, northern India, western Bhutan, and Nepal, or maybe something like the gelada baboon that prefers to sleep on rocky cliffs and can be found mostly in the Simon Mountains at the Ethiopian highlands. I could definitely see Frontier launching some kind of mountain pack with an animal roster like this, and, and surely there would be so many other animals that would fit in a pack like this as well, right? Now even though we already got an Australia pack, and the Oceania pack did feel a little bit like an Australia 2.0 pack according to some people, even though not all the animals were from Australia, the animal roster of Australia could definitely use some more animals if you ask me. So you could think of animals like the short beaked echidna or the machis tree kangaroo, the Australian sea lion or Australian freshwater crocodile, or maybe even the numbat or the bandicoot. Although this may not be an animal roster I would personally be super excited about, I do think it may be a nice addition still to the animal roster of Australia if you ask me. How will you guys feel about another Australian animals pack? Also, if you're interested in getting Planet Zoo with a great discount, then definitely make sure to check out our sponsor of the channel, Instant Gaming, as you can get all Planet Zoo packs with a fantastic discount among many other games. And by buying via the website, you will get a great discount and you will also be supporting the channel. You can find a link to their website in the description of this video and in the pinned message of the comment section so you can easily find it. Now as for what type of pack we will see next, like an animal pack with 8 animals only or a normal pack with building pieces and 4 to 5 animals, I think the chances are slightly higher we will be seeing another animal pack drop with around 8 animals. However, I do feel like the more recent animal pack, like the arid animal pack, wasn't really that much of a success looking at the popularity. So unless it's going to be a super good animal roster, like the wetlands animal pack for example, it could be very nice to see another animal pack drop. But I also really wouldn't be surprised if it's going to be a normal pack again with 4 to 5 animals and building pieces, as I do feel like overall these packs are a lot more popular as it adds something for both the animal lovers and the creative builders among us. And also looking at the history of Frontier launching any packs, it doesn't have to be an animal pack because we've just seen a normal pack. Because for example, they also did launch the conservation pack and after that the twilight pack, which were both normal packs with four to five animals and building pieces. So it really doesn't have to mean that the Oceania pack was a normal pack, that right now we should be seeing an animal pack. So we really just have to wait and see what kind of pack we're going to see. But what are your thoughts about this? And what are your expectations? Now, obviously, there are so many people still playing Planet Zoo with so many animals still on their wish list. So I'm super curious to hear what animals you still have on your wish list to see in Planet Zoo. And also to hear your thoughts about these pack ideas that we could maybe still see in the future of Planet Zoo. Please do let me know in the comments down below. Leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed it. And subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. And yeah, I just really do hope to see you guys all in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye guys!